Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in today's video, let's check out how the 13.3 inch variant of the Mi Notebook Air performs when it comes to gaming. In the Canada Edit video that I shot a while back, I asked you guys to suggest some games and you did. I picked the four most popular ones, CSGO, Witcher 3, Crisis 3 and GTA 5. So first, let's start with Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I left most settings on high with this. Full HD obviously, and with that, I was able to get 60 to 70 frames per second consistently. So, yeah, feels smooth enough. And of course, I suck. I, uh, FPS is just not my thing. Anyway, even when there are things happening, like here, you're gonna see me get my butt kicked. And even when things are happening, the Mi Notebook Air 13.3 had no issues hitting above 60 FPS here. So CSGO, no issues. Let me just show you a little more footage of me finding new sad ways to get killed. Oh yeah, trigger happy I am. I'm still gonna die. And this is the precise moment where I decide to switch guns. And I do that. And I see someone who kills me. Nice, right? Anyway, let's quickly switch to Crisis 3. I've cranked everything down over here. Uh, we're still running in full HD going with a low system spec preset uh, and if I can just show you advanced graphics everything is on low so over here you get somewhere between a 25 to 30 FPS let's just get back to the game so as you can see full HD anywhere between 20 to 30 FPS generally somewhere above 25 to 30 so there you go. So even when there are things happening on screen, we're still the Mi Notebook Air holds steady at around 25-30 FPS with this game. So here's a little bit more gameplay footage before we jump to the next game. With GTA 5, I had to ignore suggested limits to get it to run at full HD. Most stuff's turned to low, and with that, we get 30 FPS approximate. And remember when I said first person shooters aren't my thing? Well, guess what? I lied, because I am no better with driving either. So, yeah, now you're gonna watch me struggle with GTA 5 for a bit. Forget the gameplay aspects of things, just look at how the game performs on the Mi Notebook Air. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm keeping it under control. Okay, fair enough. Enough. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you the good parts. And believe me, I had to play for about 30 minutes to get this footage. This is the most presentable footage that I managed to shoot. So that should give you an idea of how good I am with the keyboard and mouse. Anyway, it's been so long since I spent some time gaming. GTA 4, to be honest, has been sitting on my two game list since launch. That's how long it's been. So thank you guys for asking me to do this video. It's been a lot of fun. And for our final game today, we went with Witcher 3 and I couldn't get playable frame rates at full HD. So I had to crank it down to 1360 by 768, left everything else off. And with that, we got playable frame rates 30 to 40 FPS. So, yeah. I actually think I'm gonna get Witcher 3 on my desktop and play it. 
I bought these games just based on your suggestions on the can it edit video and I ended up kind of liking Witcher 3. Maybe I should spend some time and play it. The visuals look great. Even with everything turned down at just 720p, the visuals actually look quite impressive. I'm probably gonna install it on my editing rig and spend some time with it. It's also worth mentioning that the Mi Notebook Air kind of got hot while gaming. I know that's to be expected with laptops this size, but I haven't really gamed on laptops like ever, so I'm not sure if these temperatures are acceptable. The left top half of the keyboard got really hot. The W key in particular, I felt uncomfortable hitting it. So it turns out it is above 50 degrees. Is that okay for a laptop? Is that acceptable? You guys let me know. So that's it for this video. The Mi Notebook Air is not the best choice for gaming, but given its sleek profile, it seems to perform quite decently. I don't have alternatives to test it against, so I really can't talk about price to performance. I'm relatively new to the laptop scene. I've not really been keeping up with it. So you guys let me know if you feel this performance justifies the asking price. And if you feel it doesn't, please do suggest me other alternatives. So anyway, if you do want to pick a Mi Notebook Air 13.3 up, I will leave a direct link in the description below. Use that if you want to help the channel out. Thanks a lot for watching. Oh yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Vote it down if you didn't. And thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Why am I messing up my outro? Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.